What's going on guys? The brand new minigun has just been added from Save the World into Battle Royale and it's one of the most interesting new items we've ever received in the game. Today I'm going to be going over all the statistics on how the weapon performs so you can decide if it's worth using or not. With that out of the way, let's get right into the minigun. The minigun is definitely made to have a specific role in the game and taking it out of its comfort zone can lead to random performances. The minigun has two variants, an epic and a legendary. The main difference between the two is a small increase in the damage damage done to players, but besides that, they're exactly the same. Starting off with the epic version, it deals 16 damage to the body and 40 damage to the head. Range drop off isn't a thing in the game at this point, so you don't have to worry about dealing less damage. What this means in terms of killing other players is for an enemy with full health, you'll need 7 shots to the body, and if they have full health and shield, you'll need 13 shots to kill. As for headshots, you need significantly less, only needing 3 shots to the head with full health, and 5 shots with full health and shield. Switching over to the legendary version, it deals 17 damage to the body and 42 damage to the head. With such a low increase in damage, the only thing that changes is the required shots to kill on the body, which is now 6 shots with full health and 12 with full health and shield. And although the headshot damage increased from 40 to 42, it's not enough of a boost to get you kills any faster. With overall low damage, the minigun is actually nicely balanced for what it's meant to do, which is not killing other players. Just like the trailer hinted at, the minigun is designed to destroy anything in its path, which comes quite easy to it. In Fortnite, there are three materials, wood, brick, and metal, and their health is 200, 300, and 400. Now the damage done to players is different from the damage the minigun does to structures, which is not 16 or 17, but 25. So partnering that up with its high fire rate, the minigun can destroy a wooden wall in less than a second which is insanely fast. It might take a bit longer to destroy metal but it's definitely going to do a faster job than anything else in the game. Speaking of its fire rate, the minigun fires 12 bullets per second which just for comparison is very similar to the SMGs. The minigun also uses light ammo which is the reason it deals such low damage. Now the minigun does have a few unique things going for it involving how it performs. Unlike anything else in the game, the minigun doesn't have any reload time because you don't need to reload it. Gameplay wise, this could be considered overpowered but due to its low damage, this isn't that big of a deal like some people make it out to be. To keep this even more balanced, once you switch to the minigun, you can't fire it right away as there's a charge of time of approximately 1 second before it can be used. There also seems to be some misconceptions going around about how the minigun affects the player's movement. Surprisingly, walking or running with the minigun doesn't affect the player's speed in the slightest. Also when aiming down sights, the player doesn't get slowed down in any way. Traditionally, in past games, holding a heavier weapon means that the player will have to pay for it either by movement, hip fire, or other important ways, but the minigun simply does not affect the player in a negative way. To summarize, the minigun has a specific purpose in the game and it fits it quite well. It's really good at destroying structures but can be used as an offensive weapon if that's a last resort. Even though it destroys most things in its path, it can still be countered if your enemy straight pushes you or you get shot from somewhere else. Due to this fact, once the hype dies down, it probably won't be making many appearances in your solo games. However, this thing can become a beast and staple in squads. Having up to 3 people rush a team while one person stays behind to distract them is a very possible strategy that I can see being implemented. The minigun is a great addition to the game and I hope to see more special weapons like this in the future. So that's going to be today's Fortnite video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, I really enjoyed breaking down the minigun, so if you guys want me to do the same thing for the new weapon that is going to be released next week, then please tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more Fortnite Battle Royale videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.